most motivational segment in all of sports. It's also time where we read some viewer mail. Yes. We get a ton of mail. It's just nuts. It's really just one letter a week we get. <laughs> I choose one letter a week. I get. A, I have a full sack back there. Oh, I look like I look like Santa in the summertime. Letters from children. He has not These are from him. Dear Wilds, sorry to hear about the end of Cowboy Brew and Title Pie. Well, Title Pie is only two. Do you have any other franchises marinating? Well, as you know, it's no off. On, oh, sincerely, yeah, Ryan and Brad. Uh, as you know, there's no off on the genius switch, as David Letterman used to say. No off on the genius switch? Yeah, it's not my quote. I'm just <laughs> quoting somebody. No, uh, and we always have something cooking up. So, I don't know if we have... Yes, you know, of course. <laughs> Taste buds. So you're going to use... I'm glad you're using a uh, suggestion from all of the production. Yes, this was Ramsey's idea. Yeah, this is a good one, it's Ramsey. a cookbook called Taste Buds. A pinch, a pinch of, of inspiration and motivation in every meal. I'd also like to point out, not only is this Ramsey's idea, Dusty was correct. The apron doesn't work. <laughs> no, Dusty, Nailed it. I like the apron. I like that. I thing. thought it was just the table coming. I thought it was a three-dimensional, I, like I, I thought it was an L-shaped that. table. Shoulders look a little broader. Yeah, I like that. Good job, Ramsey. All right, let's get to it. Number three on this week's bud list, Joe Mazzulli. Oh. Joe Mazzulli. Now, this, this series is so huge for Mazzulli yeah. that depending on the outcome, he could go from being like the boy wonder the, the new genius of the NBA. He's only 35 years old. Yeah. All right. And all of those slogans and, all, you know, his gruff demeanor at times with the media, it'll be like, not to this level, but almost like a Belichickian. Like, oh, like this it. guy's just, That's you right. know, he's a genius. He doesn't deal with the press that well, but he's a genius. But if they lose. What happens, bro? He's on the hot seat. <laughs> I mean, sir, I, he's not getting fired. Don't get me wrong. But next year. He's on the hot seat. He will kind of be kind of kind of be on the hot seat because yeah. if they wouldn't get were to get back to the finals it'd be like man Joe you had your shot so look I think he's a he is a good coach he has done wonders with their offense mm -hmm. they always they've been a great defensive team for like the last decade or so but offensively he has improved them we know it's a copycat league he has made his team like the three-point you know bonanza of basketball and other teams would copy that should he win now if he loses tonight they're only 11 and 8 at home in his in playoffs in his duration as a coach so that that's something you're just like what's going on is it motivation you're not getting the team up mm. what is the problem there so I, I think those are some of the issues here's here's the other thing the Boston Globe talked about them being an all-time great team mm -hmm. if they win you and I Nick have looked at uh, here's all the all my 10 greatest teams which most people would have those groupings at least in the discussion yeah. everyone on there is like an all upper tier all-time great and even every Kobe's not even there? mentioned oh no every player okay sorry Kobe's not even on the you know picture with yeah. Shaq and Kobe so all of these teams had all-time greats Dr. J too this team doesn't and so if they if people group them in this group as an all-time great team, which some want to do, 64 wins, ran through the playoffs, were to beat a Luka Doncic led team in the finals, then who who gets tons of credit? If we never had a Dr. Oh. J, we don't have a Michael Jordan or a LeBron like James on our team. The coach gets major credit. Joe, I actually I'm starting to like Joe Missoula. I believe in you. All right, at number two. <laughs> Let's go to the other team, Kyrie Irving. Oh, okay. All right, now, Kyrie, I, 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 some people might say, wow, more pressure than Luka? Yeah, because he's going back to Boston. And he is going to hear all types of insults, I think. I mean, I think they're going to be rough on him. And, they, you know, that's, that's their right to be rough on him. Don't cross the line. Kyrie can't let it get to him. All right, and the statistics show he has not played as well against Boston since he left there as he's played against the other teams. He needs the ball because I think Luka's going to get his points, no matter, you know, whether it's efficient or not, he's going to get his. They need Kyrie to be great. Also, and this is unique, in this run to the finals, Kyrie has enjoyed a, 
a, a reputation renaissance. Oh, cool. Unlike we've really seen in a long time, particularly for a number two guy. When it's not your team, he's been called the most gifted player ever, yep. the most skilled player ever, part of the best backcourt ever. Uh, the best all, wingman. The best wingman the best. ever. Yeah. Some people threw that out there. If Kyrie doesn't perform well in these finals, a lot of that kind of goes out the window. Yes, he still has, re you know, reformed his reputation, so to speak. But a lot of that stuff goes out of the window. And so... Yeah, I, he's also called it himself the b greatest portion of his career. Yeah. It's going to be hard to say that if you don't win these finals when you already won one and had the huge shot. All right, number one, Jason Tatum. I think he's facing more pressure than any other player in this series, including Luka, even though Luka's the best player. Mm -hmm. All right, I, Luka's younger. This is Luka's first finals. Jason, fit, what, second time to the finals, been to five Eastern Conference um, finals. So he is facing the most pressure. Let me count the ways. Number one, he's the best player on his team. Yeah. All right. Your team is favored, Jason. Your team won 64 games. The Boston Globe is already fitting you guys for all-time great bomber jackets. Oh, that's all right. Cool. Uh, also, you are uh, have home court advantage. You've already played in the finals and didn't play that well before, and you lost. All right? Um, you have said that you are the best player in the world. He's, he's actually said that. All right? You have a chance to win the first title in Boston in 16 years. This is for a flagship, not only NBA team, but one of the great franchises in all of American well, sports. You can lead them to the first championship white, white, in 16 years. But yeah. still, they're still iconic. All right? And so you can do all of this and get your respect that you deserve, Jason. So this is your time to shine, man. If you lose, you're going to take some bullets. But uh, go out there and get it done. Jason Tatum, I do believe. Wow. Wow. Thanks. Well done, Brew. A great bud list. There is an interesting subplot in these NBA finals. Oh. What, Wilds? I think I know what you're doing. Okay. Well, would you like to guess, or do you want me no, to go? I okay. want you to go. Sorry. So no, you're fine. Um, so both of these fan bases, these are major markets, big cities, with very famous fans, yes. very famous alums of the team, very famous people that follow the team. The Mavs have famous fans. Well, I'm again. If you wanted to go, I, I gave you the opportunity. I know. Dusty, not can I go? Allow me to allow me to go ahead and finish. Um, both teams picked someone of their famous fans to release a hype video. So let's let you hear who the Celtics picked and who the Mavs picked. Hubs, if we can play a snippet of both of them, please. Holmes Brady. I like that one. Part six. A, a NFL GOAT proxy war going on in the NBA Finals. I mean, it's what people are saying. I mean, Pat, Tom Brady is very busy working with us. Patrick Mahomes very busy at minicamp, and Brady yet. Brady in the Bucks jersey? Who did I'm that? I'm sorry, that's the most recent time they played. Uh, and so, uh, it's just what it is. And, and so, I maybe would have made more sense in a Patriots jersey <laughs> given the context, but that's fine. Point is this. How much does this count in the GOAT debate? I mean, it's so not nothing. If I have to listen to Brew talk about part of Jordan's cases, he was so pretty. And I have to listen to Wilds talk yeah. about with yeah. Jordan's case, uh, the shoes. Then then in the NFL GOAT debate, it has to be, well, they picked sides in an NBA Finals. Fair fight. Let's see. Does it count for a tenth of a ring? A quarter of a ring? I don't know. I'm simply saying it's going on. I know Patrick will be courtside for at least one, if not multiple, of these games. I may or may not be alongside him, but I'm not sure. Got to check our first things for that the schedule. Would be, that would be, uh, you can miss I the can show. miss a show to go to the or game that. with Patrick. Yeah, you can be on soon. All right, well, okay, no problem. Is Tom going to show up? If Tom shows up, does he get the Matt Damon seats? Does he bring Bill Belichick with him? I have a lot of questions. What I do know is this. We have a whole NFL GOAT little sidebar to the NBA Finals, that, and that, the teams and players are embracing it. That is nice, but I got to say, and I, I'm a Mahomes guy, but 
That was a 10 8 first round. Thank you. What? For Brady. Thank you. Oh my gosh, the Boston one was way. Oh, you didn't watch Dallas. the whole thing. I picked you gotta, Dallas. First of all, bro, you didn't right. watch the whole I thing. Watch all you that watch little thing. snippet? Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The, 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 the first, Celtics right, blew two, him out right, of the first water. First of all, you got to watch way the whole better. thing. The, the music Mavs one is the Mavs one crescendo. Does it get better? It has better than we're not allowed to use. That's first of all. Second of all, the whole doing you got it rounds and seven rounds is my thing. No, it ends with some chopped and screwed music. Okay, you better. you better yeah, have yeah, something yeah, fresh yeah, in there yeah, at the end. Because yeah, that little snippet, it yeah. was all oh, yeah, when I think all When I think Boston Celtics and their fans, I think Key I'm, Glock. I'm That's what saying. I think. Give me a break. <laughs> Where's Key Glock from? Go ahead. I assume up there. <laughs> Go ahead. So is Guru, so. Uh, all right. Uh, I am adding. Who am I adding? I got lost. I started. Oh, championship, championship coaches. coaches. Yeah, we're so locked I'll in do yours, yours, you do mine. Yeah, championship coaches. So here's the question, Brew. Is this a blip or a trend? And I'll give you an argument for both. If it's a blip with two championship coaches saying, you know what? A great job opened up in Southern California. I'm taking off. Maybe it's just not a long-term trend. But if it's a trend, and I tried to come up with a clever way to... Uh, to put this, and then I just read Pete Thamel's article and I said, you know what? Yep. That's better than anything I came up with. I'll be 100% honest with you. Here's what Pete wrote. Uh, will Hurley look at the uncertain and disorganized moment of college basketball's nascent foray into becoming professional basketball and decide that actual professional basketball makes more sense? So the question for you is, Brew, are we on the precipice of several college coaches just being like, you know what? It's a little too disorganized. We're in a period of flux as we get rid of NIL yeah. and bring in more compensation. I'd rather just go to the real pros until the college system can figure it out. This is a great addition to the brothers. Thank Knicks you. was kind of funny off, off the top. I'm the serious this is, a, this is a legitimately like, wow, that's like a good, really thoughtful thought. addition to the bud list. That, there is pressure on these two coaches because I do think a lot of coaches are like, let me get out of here as far as college. It's the wild, wild west now. Get to the NFL or the NBA, but these guys got to do well. These are two of the best. I mean, they won the last two championships. If they fall flat on their face, one, will the pros really want college coaches? And two, will other college coaches be like, oh, maybe I'll stay right where I'm at. You know, so, yeah, I think there's a lot of pressure on these guys to do well. If they do well, I do think you will start to see a more lot guys. more yeah, guys coming in. I think Jay Wright should come coach. Well, I wonder if Jay Wright hears of this Dan Hurley thing. Like, did you guys didn't even call me, Lakers? You didn't even yeah. call me. see how good Villanova is in New York. I think Jay would be really good with yeah, And you want to talk Pat Riley 2.0. Yeah, exactly. Jay Wright. Smooth, yeah. Yeah. We got the Shut hair. Up. We got the yep. suits yeah. already. Not wearing a polo shirt. I agree with yeah. you. Not wearing a quarter suit. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.